Logan Stargazer here. This video is how to prepare images to be used as profile pictures. The current picture on my profile, which you see before you, is a very beautiful picture made by my little friend Mackenzie. Thank you, dear. I love it. Profile pictures are a 4 to 3 aspect. It's this rectangle, you see. If you drop a square picture into it, well, look at it. You see what happens. The server pulls it out to 4 by 3 and it gets stretched. I'm going to show you how to prepare a picture so that doesn't happen. We're going to use GIMP, but Photoshop works equally well. I'll start with the square picture, which you can see is 512 by 512. Now there are two ways that I could make this 4 to 3. I could take my crop tool, set it for a fixed aspect ratio as you see over here, with a 4 to 3. I could draw a rectangle on here. Now since I have a fixed aspect, you see how the rectangle keeps the same aspect as I resize it? That's that's what fixed aspect means. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Right here. As I switch it around, change sizes, you see how it maintains the same length to height? That's what the aspect ratio is. The profile pictures have a 4 to 3. Well, let's see what happens if I try to cut out a 4 by 3 rectangle from this picture. Mm, there. I could use that. That would work, yeah. That, that would work just fine. But I want the whole picture. So I'm going to go a couple extra steps in order to get the whole picture. Undo. Because I like, I like this bottom part too. It's very pretty. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take a, I'm going to make a new image. I'm going to resize it something bigger than this other one. This one is 512, so let's make the new one 1024 by 1024. It doesn't have to be that big. I just, it just, I'm just making a size. And we'll fill it in with some nice background color. This blue is good. Bucket fill. There. On the original picture, I'm going to say select all, edit, copy. On this one, I'm going to say edit, paste as new layer. There. The old picture is on top of the new one. If you want to call this blue a picture. I'll take the move tool and I'll get this kind of centered. Doesn't have to be, but I like to work around the center. There. Now I'll take my crop tool again with my fixed 4 to 3 aspect ratio and cut out a 4 by 3 section of this new picture, which is now going to contain the nice blue sidebars. Get it centered, get it centered. Good enough. There. There. A 4x3 image with the full contents of the smaller one in it. Beautiful. That's almost ready to upload. Almost. We have to take care of one other problem. No matter what the actual resolution of the picture, in this case, 5... 6... 683 by 512. The resolution is 683 by 512. But when I upload it, the server is going to force a binary resolution on that picture. 64, 128, 256, 512, 1024 by 64, 128, 256, 512, 1024. Any two binary values, whichever is closest. It's going to force it to that resolution. The aspect will stay the same. No. Yes, technically the aspect would stay the same. The resolution is going to be forced. The server may not do such a good job. It's not designed for that, really. But GIMP is, and so is Photoshop. So I'm going to redo the resolution in GIMP so the server will just accept the image as is and not modify it. It's not going to remove any pixels. It's not going to change anything at all. Image. Scale. Now, look closely right here. I'm sure Photoshop has this thing, too. You see this little chain here? Right now, the width and height are linked together. If I change the width, the height will adapt. If I change the height, 
the wrist will adapt. In this case, I don't want that. I don't want it to adapt the size of the picture. I want to force the size, the resolution. I don't want to adapt the resolution. I want to force the resolution. So I'm going to break that chain. The closest value to 683 is 512. Closest value to 512 is 512. Beautiful. Scaling. There we go. The resolution of that picture is now 512 by 512. Yeah, it's stretched out because it's supposed to be wider. Don't worry, the server is going to widen it without modifying it. It will simply, cosmetically, widen it. It won't change any of the pixels. That's what I'm after. What you see here is what you get in InWorlds. File, export as a new profile picture ping. Place. I already had one by that name. Okay, back to InWorlds. And we're going to upload the new image. New profile picture. And upload it. Is it done? Okay, it's good. Okay, there's the original square all stretched out. Here's the new one. Come on, server. Any day now. There. There's the new one. Not stretched out. Rather, not distorted. It was stretched out. It was stretched. It was stretched out, and the center image became square again. But it was only cosmetically stretched out. Thank you for watching the video. If there's any questions, please IM me.